Oh, hey, buddy, wait a moment. Do you have a minute? I gotta ask you something. Great. So, um, do you already have any plans for tonight? No? Excellent. Okay, well, the thing is, my parents are out of town for the weekend. They're attending a two-day esoteric sustainable vegan pottery workshop in California. So I got the house all to myself, and that's why I'm throwing a party tonight. You know, just a few of the girls coming over, or we're gonna have some snacks and listen to music. Oh, we'll also have a sleepover, and, well, the thing is, we were hoping you might want to join in too. So, are you free for tonight? Hey, come on, don't swallow your tongue. I didn't ask you for the square root of 147, I just want to know if you can come over to my little party tonight. Or do you already have other plans? See? Then you can simply hop by it around 6 p.m., okay? The party isn't gonna start that early, but I guess I could use some strong arms to help me move some of the tables and armchairs and stuff. Oh? What is it? But didn't you just say you had no other plans? So then, there's absolutely no problem, right? You're free to come over. What? No, I'm not just inviting you because I need help with the furniture. Silly. I also need help preparing the snacks. Joking, hey, I'm joking. We really want you to come over. You're fun to hang out with, you're great to talk to once we get you to finally overcome your shyness and actually say something. And you're actually really sweet. So, we all really want you to join in tonight. Come on, it'll be fun, trust me. If there is one thing I'm good at, it's throwing a party. Well, I'm also good at social studies and arts, plus I'm on the gymnastics team, but you know what I mean. Not to toot my own horn, but my parties are freaking legendary. Just ask anybody from our class. Have you ever tried my homemade strawberry punch? No? Yeah. Now that I think about it, you've never been to one of my parties before. Whenever I invited you, you sadly said you had some really important appointments? Well, all the better that tonight you are free at last, huh? So then, come on, just say yes, okay? You know me, I'm not gonna ease off until I brought you around. Spare yourself the hassle and just agree to come right now. We both know that in the end you will agree anyway. Because you couldn't possibly say no to my cute puppy dog eyes. And I don't really have the time to argue with you forever because I still gotta go stock up on guacamole, beer, and mini pretzels. Plus, I wanted to make meatballs and I don't know what sorts of spices my mom puts into hers and to get them the way she gets them. All I know is that we have a spice rack the size of a small European country and half the jars have names I cannot pronounce. I'm like, what the heck is curcuma? And do you put it into meatballs? So, anyway. Are you gonna come to my party or what? Come on, don't make me use my puppy dog eyes. Because I will deploy them without any hesitation. So, as I see it, you have three options. Yes, of course, and heck yeah. Yes, excellent, okay. So then, be there at six, okay? Wear something comfy. Have you ever been to a cuddle party before? A cuddle party. What? 
Did I not mention it's a cuddle party? Oh, well, a cuddle party is a party where you, um, <laughs> well, you cuddle. I actually thought it was kind of self-explanatory, to be frank, but if you've never been to one before, huh? Well, when I say cuddle, I mean, um, cuddle. You know, stuff like hugging and back rubs and nuzzling. Come on, you know what cuddling is, right? See? Then why do you ask? What do you mean, who's gonna cuddle whom? We're all gonna sort of cuddle each other, like, you know, everyone. Essentially, it's just one big cuddle puddle. Sorry? No, it's a proper party. There's gonna be snacks and music and stuff. It's just that we're all gonna cuddle. Oh, we're gonna cuddle up on the couch and watch a movie, maybe play some games or something. The girls are gonna do each other's hair. But you can stay out of that if you don't want to. Or if you do want to, I'm pretty sure some of the girls are dying to try out some stuff with your hair. I know I am. Then we're all gonna snuggle up in bed and fall asleep together. It's gonna be awesome. Hey, what's with that face? You look like I just invited you to a Brussels sprouts eating contest. Actually, it's kind of offensive that that's the face you make at the prospect of cuddling with me. Do you find me that repulsive or something? No? <laughs> Alright then, what is the problem? What? Of course we can cuddle, why shouldn't we? Here, see? <sighs> hey, whoa! Calm down, it was just a hug. Don't freak out. Wow, if you make such a fuss when I cuddle you, how do you mean to withstand a half a dozen other girls snuggling up to you on the couch? Maybe it's for the best if you show up a bit early tonight so the two of us can practice a little, so you won't make a scene when the actual cuddling begins. Yes, of course you're gonna come. Don't you dare back out now. I know that you have no other plans, and you just admitted that at the very least you don't find me repulsive, which is probably the closest thing to a compliment I can expect from a shy one like you. Between the two of us, you should work on that. Compliments are the backbones of social inter interaction, especially with girls. Well, <laughs> never mind. You'll get a lot of opportunities to practice tonight. So then, 6 p.m. at my place? You do have my address, right? What? Yeah, I heard you say no, but we all really want you to come, so I've decided to ignore you. So then, 6 p.m. it is, and if you could bring some nachos, that would be awesome, and dip. See if you can get that extra spicy nacho dip, okay? That would be great. Excuse me? No, you cannot attend the party, but not cuddle with anyone. That would be stupid. What are you planning to do? Just stand in a corner all by yourself the whole night? Really? Coming to a cuddle party and not cuddle? That would be like coming to a pool party but not swim. Sometimes, you can be a weird one, you know that? A cute one, but a weird one. You should probably come to my parties more often to work on your social skills. It can't be healthy to be this awkward about just a little snuggling and back rubs. But <laughs> don't you worry, my parents already booked a seminar about holistic postmodernist alpaca wool carpet weaving next month, so there's another party coming up and you will attend that one as well. Yes, you will! Why are you even trying to discuss this with me when you know you're gonna lose? 
Do you want me to use the puppy eyes? Do you? Hey, come on, take the plunge. I really think you would have a great time at the party. You just never tried because for whatever reason you're afraid of us or whatever. Come on, we're not the mean girl clique from a bad high school movie. It's just gonna be a couple of girls from our class and a few of my friends from gymnastics in our class and stuff. We're all really nice people, I promise. We'll listen to music, talk about stuff, and lay our heads on each other's shoulders. Nothing weird. It'll be fun, believe me. So, you're gonna come? You promise? You're not suddenly gonna remember that you have to bring a basket with cake and wine to your sick grandma in the woods? Excellent. I'm looking forward to seeing you. And snuggling you. Oh, um, and would you also be okay with the girls doing your hair? Perfect! You're gonna look so cute with highlights. Oh, hey, no need to look so scared. It's fine. I promise, don't worry. The most important thing about highlights is consent. I'll tell the girls to restrain themselves. Phew, thank goodness I didn't ask if we could do your nails. Huh? Nothing. So then, 6 p.m. at my place? You'll be there, right? Awesome. Just wait, you'll have a whole lot of fun, I promise.